Hey guys, just another quick live stream. Haven't done one recently, I realized, to go over all the new stuff I've gotten recently to review. So, yeah. We'll just take a peek at what's new here. We've got quite a lot to look at. Pretty rare I do two live streams in one day, but hey, you know what? We're going to do it. Hey, Spider. What's up, my man? Hey, Brian. Glad to see you again. I do have some loopholes up in here. <laughs> Many much, Josh. Many much. What's up? Hey, JRB. Hey, Master. What's going down? Well, this shall be the next Spinetic review. I've been waiting for this. This guy. Dare I say it's my favorite spinetic spinner. I think I dare. That's the Y+. plus. Hey, Hugh. Welcome, buddy. Everybody's showing up for this one. Good to see you guys. My custom spinetic. Thanks, master. Got a new eye spin. Got a couple of these guys. I'm gonna give away. Very smooth and got this crazy function where they spin two different ways. The uh, the tops to all these modular arms spin. So you can grab any two, spin it that way, spin it the regular way. Crazy. Crazy. Only thing I don't like about it is when you spin it like normal and then stop it. Of course that that momentum causes a lot of them to spin so then you've got this kind of unsettling sound the sounds not bad but it makes you think like something's gone wrong I guess it's just something you gotta get used to but yeah interesting two-way spinner you see a yes hopeless probably one of the few micro tritons out in the wild I don't really know how many Anthony sent out but yeah, very neat little guy. Great addition to the Triton line. Got some fancy new buttons on my Mini Triton too. Those buttons came off of the unnamed Tri from VCEDC. These beasts are tungsten inserts. So yeah, it might be small, but it's like about five ounces. Still working on a good spin time. I've been able been able to get uh, I think seven or eight with this guy, but I want to break ten before I do a video. But yeah, she's chunky, chunky monkey. Then of course you got the beast, the beast. It's like three and a quarter inches in length. I barely have enough clearance on my hand. Really like the polished stainless steel. It's comfortable. Lots of chamfers. I thought I thought this was going to be hot spot city, but it's not. Very smooth. Very comfy. I think I would prefer maybe Son of Beast. I know they call he's calling it Baby Beast, but I prefer Son of Beast. A little bit, maybe about 2.5 inches. Same shape. Same exact everything, just a little bit smaller. I mean, I can get away with spinning it. And I have small hands. But, you know, I have to hold it just right to make that happen. You know, it's, I can't just, like, quickly grab and fidget or I'm slamming into my hand. But I do like it. Especially if you've got bigger hands, I'm sure you'd love this. And it's a bar. So you got some massive feedback. Because there's a whole lot of weight a long ways away from the bearing. But yeah, very cool. What else? Oh, we've got the Quasar. Designed by Jong. He did the Geometrics and a variety of other spinners out there in the wild. Very nice as well. This is from Fidget HQ. It's got the Kong buttons with the, the balancing divot. This one. Interesting through cut 
with a, another through cut into the side. So it, it's interesting. I think you could probably mount a trip deep in there, maybe. It looks to be about that size, but because of that cut down the middle, I don't know. He'd maybe just glue the ends. Who knows? I'm not. I'm kind of over trits, so I, I like the this for the design that it is. Yeah, yeah. Jong told me he was going to uh, to Singapore to see Ben, and yeah, they sent me some pictures. That would have been cool to to join them, but. Not in the cards. I wouldn't mind going to Singapore for a while. Or Malaysia. Go hang out with Jong. He's my buddy. Oh, what else? Oh, we, of course, I got myself a retail biting. You know, I had those prototypes. Kepler Mini Micro Boomerang Micro Triton. What's your pick? That's a t hopeless. That's, a, that's almost an impossible pick. Hey, Megan. Thanks for stopping by. We're just checking out some of the new stuff I've got recently. That's a tough... That's a tough one. I mean, they all have their their own unique characteristics for being a micro. Love the Kepler. Fell in love with that as soon as it came out. And that's how it is with all of these. I don't know that I could pick pick a favorite... I mean, I'd say probably right now it's the Micro Triton because it, only because it's so unique. I mean, nobody has this. These are going to be twenty five ninety nine. Hey, Larry. <clears throat> Excuse me, just getting over a cold. Sorry for the scratchy voice. But yeah, because it's so new and because it's so rare and I'm a snowflake, my favorite right now is this Micro Triton. But that's the only reason. It's not because it's like light years ahead of the Boomerang or... The uh, Kepler Mini, even. It depends on the style you like, I guess. They all fidget, kind of the same. Oh, what do we got here? We got a 2R Trinster? I believe that's what this is called. The Tetra is the other one. 2R did with Spinetic. Yeah, Tetra and the Trinster. It confuses me because this had a different name that um, Leo over at 2R talked to me about. Or maybe it was Rick. It had a different working name for the longest time, so I kind of get confused. But yeah, Tetra. Tetra was the final. Yep, those are the two new ones. Um, what else? What else? Oh, of course, the Mini Valks. Valkyrie. I enjoy more than the full-size Valkyrie because we know I'm not much of a bar guy. So, of course, smaller bars equal better bars for me. Less less feedback than the full-size Valkyrie. But it's very nice. Very, whoops, very smooth. It was very smooth until I just threw it and probably broke it. Nope, still good. And, of course, I just did the live stream for the... Turbulent Spinner from Damn Designs. Another winner. Kind of reminds me of the Tetra. Where did I even put the Tetra? Oh, right down here. A little bit. Not really, but... I like the offset arms. Nice through cut. I like the, the angles of it. Definitely, they like their angles over at Damn Designs, because, of course, the Triad... It's got hella angles. Like one massive chamfer, pretty much. And then it's rounded. Oh, just in today, new company to the scene, True Spin. Made in the USA spinners. That's these guys here. This is the Velocity. Comes in polished stainless steel and also brushed stainless steel they also do these they were called the trinity but they are being renamed because i let them know that trinity was a taken design name so they're going to come up with whatever this guy this one's a lot of fun 
US made, press fit R188s. Cool stuff. And when I first saw it, I thought it was just going to be some like alloy Chinese stuff. And then I realized it's a US company and it's quality metal. It's good brass, brass and stainless. There, I, I don't know if there's a brushed, brushed uh, brass version. Both of the ones that I got. Yeah, I think so, Josh. These are from Glendale, Glendale, California, is where True spins out of. But yeah, qualities, the qualities there. We'll see. I haven't. I just got them literally like maybe an hour ago. I haven't been able to spend hardly any time with it prepping for the live streams. Here's an interesting thing that I got the other day. A little collaboration from... I'm going to mess the name up, I'm sure. Tecray, 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 and Stedman. Stedman, of course, did that... That bar titanium spinner that you could convert into a quad. I don't know that I've done the review on that yet. But anyway, this collaboration is basically a really cool ring spinner with a top insert so you could turn it into a top. And what's interesting about this is that instead of spinning a top like you would normally spin it, I can hold the gear here, spin the center, and then just place it where I want. And away it goes. Seems my table is not level because that's where it goes every time. But yeah, the 50 bucks. Uh, I got this on Amazon, but there, of course, with uh, the whole testing deal last week from Amazon, a lot of that stuff is gone. You can pick these up on eBay. Or if you want to feel a little more comfortable, you can get them from Blade HQ or a lot of different knife retailers, reputable knife retailers have this. Just type in Stedman, S-T-E-D-E-M-O-N, and you'll be able to find it. They come, these it's titanium, so that comes anodized. You can get it blue, purple, green. And I, I prefer... Just this brushed, stonewashed, I think, actually, stonewashed titanium. Very cool. If you like ring spinners and you like tops, even if this was just a ring spinner, I mean, I love my loopholes, but for smaller hands, this thing is just, you know, there's not much, not much metal there compared to a ring spin, and it's a lot lighter, being titanium, of course. But yeah, I mean, I love my loopholes. It's not going to take me away from the loopholes. I just ordered two more loopholes so that I can do a review with the entire line. I've got the Zero. I've got the Four. Four has female. Zero has male. And I've got the Twelve, which has male. And uh, the drop yesterday, everything had no neural. Neural free. So we're going to see how that ends up. But I got the the T8 and the T4 by 8 all in the same order. I was super impressed with myself. Here's a little trick now that I've uh, ordered everything that I want, I think. I'll probably get like some copper stuff eventually. But on a PC, it's super easy to get in on those loophole... Uh, Drops basically a couple minutes before if you do PayPal. I know people say don't do PayPal because it slows you down. Do autofill. I've been successful with PayPal. So what I do is I log into my PayPal in a separate window, then I load up two split windows uh, for premium spinners, and I load up the page for the items that I want. So I had two pages up one for the four by eight, and then one for the eight. And then I just, as soon as it went live, just add cart, add cart on each screen. And then whatever one went to check out first, that's, that's where I did the PayPal thing. And it was just boom, boom, boom. Got it. No problem. So yeah, that's my tip for getting in on 
getting in on a loophole drop. I believe those will be shipping this afternoon, so maybe Monday or Tuesday, hopefully. I can get out the full review on these guys. Four has been my favorite so far with the female. Uh, no, Megan, what I did was in just a separate tab of one of the screens, I logged into PayPal. Once you log into PayPal, it keeps you logged in for like five minutes. So that was just in the background. On my screen, it was just the two, yeah, the two premium spinner windows. And I don't know if this is how it was last drop, but they already had like the sold out 4x8 links up before the drop. So I was able to load that page. So I, it skipped that step of clicking on the 4x8 to see the Add to Cart button. I was already on the page, and as soon as it went live, that sold out button went to Add to Cart. So I was able to hop on that quick, and it worked out well. <clears throat> oh, they do? Okay. I The last drop I did, I was at my cabin on my phone. I didn't really look closely but I was still able to get in on that drop so that was cool another one I got another magic shark spinner this is the time traveler it's basically a circle when it doesn't look super impressive but what's really cool about it is you can put on these custom rings so if you want you know you're feeling red Red says Magic Shark. And I bet it wouldn't take much to get your own custom ring. And you just flop it on the outside here like it's one of those eye fidget protector silicones, you know? And then it just it becomes so grippy and adds a cool color, color aspect to it that you can change out. Very cool. Yeah, the Magic Shark time traveler i don't know what it why it's time traveler but <laughs> based on the design but wait you know what whatever someone wanted to see the beast there she is again you know what? i don't think i've even weighed the beast let's check this out let's see 4.7 ounces roughly three and a quarter inches in length You guys know I'm not much of a bar guy, and I'm especially not much of a really big bar guy. So, oh my goodness. Okay, it appears I've just won the Steel Flame Lottery. Leonard just sent me a message. I just won the Killbox Dreidel Ring Spin with Star of David Slug. Very cool. I didn't think I would ever win one of those. Oh, and my buddy Derek won one. Awesome. That is so cool. Sorry, guys. I got a little distracted. That kind of just popped up. And I've never seen one of Leonard's posts pop up for me like that. Of course, he tagged me, so... Awesome. Well, guess I'm going to get my second ring spin. I'm not Jewish, but I still will accept the Dreidel ring spin with Star of David. Why not? It looks cool. Awesome, awesome. All right, all right. Well, let's let's focus here. What else do we got? Giveaway. <laughs> well, it's not a free ring spin. I should, guess I should clarify. I do have to pay two hundred two hundred and eighty dollars, I think, which for a ring spin is quite a deal especially a new design. They give discounts for when they do an intro, a first run for a design. If you're a part of the Steel Flame Underground, which I am, you can get in on that stuff, which is cool. All right, focus. All right. Again, we had the Quasar. I love these Kong buttons. Just that, I don't know what it is, if it's that chamfer or it's not necessarily the look I don't really care about that the balance divot there but they just feel nice I mean because I had the have the uh, Zentri Nano 
which I loved, but I couldn't put my finger on what I loved best about it, but I, it, it may be those conk buttons. Could be. Is that all I have that's new? Um, in case you missed it, just last night I dropped the Spinetic XY video. Check those out. Those are fantastic minis as well. Micros, I mean, not minis. I got some more Spinetic stuff scheduled for this coming week. I've got the, the Y+. Plus. Possibly my favorite spinetic spinner of all time, especially in this configuration. Gunmetal in black with gunmetal in black button. Just hot. Hot. Megan, I am going to order that Legacy, I think. The titanium one, if that's what you're referring to, because I'm a Thai guy. But I was going to order it with spinetic bucks, but I may have to skip that if I if I didn't earn enough we'll see <laughs> I think I'm like one spinetic buck away but maybe I'll just jump on it early because it's probably going to sell out if it didn't already <coughs> excuse me I guess I need a drink of coffee mm. Dunkin Donuts hazelnut with Vanilla almond milk. Love it. Don't know, James, how you guys so addicted? Probably because they are very addicting. I mean, the designs are gorgeous. They're just so much fun. I feel you. I'm there with you, obviously. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. I got spinners everywhere. Pick five on the table for what purpose? Like my five favorites here on the table? Yeah, Chris sent me the beast. <laughs> he sent it in like three layers of protection. I've got like this mini Pelican hard case inside of a, maybe a custom Carver's pouch. I'm not sure if, it's a, if it is a Carver's pouch, but it's very similar to a Carver's pouch. And then like, <laughs> yeah, clearly... Clearly he wanted this guy protected for the journey and it made it safe. I'm going to do that video this coming week. Yeah, it is. 4.8 ounces. Feels quality. I thought it was going to hurt me, but it doesn't hurt me. It's very soft. Nice chamfers. Even some rounding on that chamfer. R-N-T-H, you are 23 minutes late, but you know what? You're here. That's all that matters. Can't hardly get this entire thing in the frame. It's so beastly. Ha! The beast is beastly. I didn't even, I didn't even intend on saying that. That's great. I like, I like this, this area here. I can get good flicks, even, even if, oh, my nose. Even if uh, I'm on either side of it, I seem to get really solid flicks. Surprisingly, for being three and a quarter inches, I can manage it pretty well. But given that I have small hands, I would want about 2.5 inches tops. Same exact design. Same exact thickness. Everything. Just, just son of beast. You know, just a little bit smaller. I don't care if Chris calls it baby beast, I'm going to call it son of beast, because that sounds better. Baby and beast together, that just doesn't work for me. Son of beast, I like that better. Okay, what else do we got here? I think we covered everything that's new. We've got the... Oh, I've got a few of these mini Valks to give away here next week. I've got a Cerakoted navy blue and then another silver one. This silver one is going to Dat Long. He was a guy. He won the very first Valkyrie, the full-size Valkyrie that I gave away. He's from, I think, 
Vietnam. And we had we've been going through some drama with the post office. Uh, basically vanished once it got to Vietnam. Don't know what happened, but he never got it. So, I'm gonna make it up to him by giving him one of those, and hopefully, it makes its way safely this time. Yeah, it's a mini. It's uh, I don't have the full size one to compare it to, but yeah, I've, I've seen pictures. It's you know a good half inch shorter, not as wide, a lot less feedback, more comfortable. Brass or copper trithrax. Um, of the two, I I go copper, just for the weight. But you know, I have the brushed stainless steel trithrax that I love, 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 love. Just I'm a stainless guy. But if I had to pick between those two, copper would be the way to go. Just for the extra weight. And because brass kind of grosses me out. This kind of brass, I think, is going to be okay. It, it looks to be... Maybe there's a coating. Maybe there's a, a slight stone wash. I don't know for sure. But I think it's going to hold up against tarnish a lot more than just straight up machined brass does how do I like the Tetra where'd she go the Tetra it's a lot of fun it's a lot more fun than the boomerang mini pro that I have stainless steel I don't know I don't know why that is partially it's because of the spin effect I think it's got these the cuts here that are offset so they oh that was almost bad they spin and you can't see it through the frame rate on my video, but the uh, spin effect changes compared from the outside to that inner ring. So it's you know it's got this opposite thing going on that looks really cool, and it's comfortable. Matching chamfers, another great design you can pick up from Spinetic, along with the Trinster from Spinetic. That's where both of these came from. Make sure to uh, follow my link if you're a new customer to Spinetic. Go to any one of my latest Spinetic reviews, follow my link, and you get a little discount. Probably enough to cover shipping to the U.S. But hey, discount's a discount. All right, any other questions before we wrap this up? Oh, somebody wanted that. The Micro Triton. Little guy. More information, Stefan. This is stainless steel. The button is slightly different than um, what has come on the other stuff. There's more of a more of an angle here from that lip, so it feels better, a lot more comfortable. It's only about an inch at its thickest points, but pretty much all the angles match that of the the Mini Triton and the full-size Triton V2 and three and a half minutes on this spin time for this little guy which that impressed me I mean it's what maybe an ounce one or maybe 1.2 let me check let me double check I think I weighed it once but I forgot exactly one 1. 1.00 on the scale Exactly one ounce, about an inch in diameter. Three and a half minutes. Yeah, Stefan, that's what I thought too. I mean, well, we all know the Tritons, they're this design. It they're designed for spinners or long spins. You know, the full size version two, my infamous infamous sixteen minute video that I recorded, and then I recorded the mini, which hit almost thirteen minutes. So I kinda figured of all the micros out there, the Triton micro would be the one to take the crown for spin time. I mean, really, you don't buy these for spin time. You don't get a micro. You know. But yeah. All right. Just a second, guys. Oh, cool. 
All right. What's next? Look at that guy. What? What is going on? Yeah, we were watching Lego Batman, the movie. Took a break for the live stream because this is the second run of the Lego Batman movie we watched today. <laughs> so I let him watch that on his own because I'm not a big fan of watching the same movie twice in a row. <laughs> All right. What else? We covered anything you guys want to see that I don't have out? How about the... Since I won the Steel Flame Lottery, let's look at my current ring spin. The Crusader Lion. Still my favorite spinner ever. Not because it spins forever. Not because it... Not because it's worth the most. It's just because... This was made as a gift for me. And... That makes it worth more than anything else. Good old Derek. With that... Oops. That Crusader Lion Molly that they also... I tried to pay for it, and they were like, okay, we'll let you know when it's ready. You can pay for it. And then it shows up at my door. <laughs> RNTH, I don't know. How old are you? I think most of my, my crowd is in the 24 to 35 range, according to the analytics I've looked at. Here's that. What do you, what do you think, guys? What what's a good name for this? This is a VC EDC product. It's just a prototype. It's not necessarily going into production. It's just for me to look at. Tungsten weight inserts, big boys. Almost five ounces in this small form factor. It weighs more than the beast. Just to let you know. This thing weighs more than the beast right here, because of that. Tungsten. The big boy. Yeah. Big Papa. These aren't the buttons it came with. The buttons it came with, I threw on the Mini Triton version 2. It's got these deep rings. Feels really good on the Triton, so I threw them on there. Nicholas doesn't spin super long yet. It's got a lot of weight to it. But that weight is so close to the bearing, it needs to kind of be distributed a little bit better. I've been able to hit almost 8 minutes on this guy, but I want to hit 10. I'm hoping maybe once that bearing loosens up a little more, we'll see it spin the top, somebody said. Let's see. Get a little protection in here. To spin the top of this Stedman take ray. In case some of you are new to the stream, it is a ring spin. That's very cool. But it has this O ring with the top insert. Insert it like that. All you got to do is spin the top like you normally would, but hold on to the gear. Then you can casually place it where you'd like it. And on a level surface, that would be. Looking a lot more impressive, but all my tops, <laughs> which is this one, go that way whenever I spin them. My own spinner collab? I don't know if I'm going to have one. Maybe. We'll see. You never know. I've got some designs in my head, but I've kind of been pretty busy. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. Spinner with magic on it. That is the Magic Shark Time Traveler. One of their newest designs. The red ring is actually replaceable. They send you five different colors with different things on it. No smoking. 
uh, whatever, I guess. Because they say spinners can help you stop smoking. But, um, yeah, you can just pull these, pull this ring off, and it's kind of hard to do on camera. But yeah, pull the ring off. Change up the color, change up the saying, or just go naked, whatever. It's a cool little spinner. Pretty inexpensive. Nice polished stainless steel. I dig it. The uh, It's a lot smaller than those other magic spinners that I reviewed. You know, you had the Soul Eater, which is pretty huge, and then that UFO one. That They were both probably maybe about half an inch wider. So yeah, it's nice to see a, a little smaller one. That ring really helps get some grip. Here's another spinner that you won't ever see. This was a prototype for Dam Designs bar spinner, but they've changed it up. So this is kind of one of a kind. There may be more of them out there. But I like it for a bar spinner. It's so thick and rounded feels really good not a ton of feedback because of you know it's not super long scooter what you need bud I must have missed your message but I can help you what's what do you need something you want to see see one of my glorious loopholes I also have the loophole buttons somewhere and I have I got an extra core I don't know why I just thought maybe maybe someday something would happen to a core and I would be sad about it but since I now have five loopholes or will have five once they ship um, probably not gonna have a core issue I can always pop out one out of one of the ones I'm not using if there was ever an issue yeah, I think I might get a brass core. Copper cores look pretty cool. That Damascus core looked super awesome. So I might have to, if that's ever an option, down the road, check those out. Top five on the table. Well, I'll, I'm going to count the loopholes as all as one, even though it's not super fair to them, but it's all kind of the same, just slight, slightly variations. Quasars would be in the top five. The this guy here would probably be in the top five. That's three. Um, that's hard. There's a lot of good stuff out here. I don't know much about these guys that I just got. Made in the U.S. True spin. Kind of like a captain's wheel. But this this try that they do really comfortable it's kind of thin so it's not super weighty but yeah very fidgetable nice buttons and this is the stone washed stainless steel this of course is the polished stainless steel but yeah that was four if I had to do another one Maybe the turbine or the turbulence. I don't know. There's a lot of good stuff out here. Mini Triton, Micro Triton. I mean, Micro Triton and Mini Triton and the Biton. There's just too much goodness here to really come up with a solid top five. That top five would probably change day to day based on this stuff. You know, this guy here, love this guy. Not a top guy, but even just as a ring spin. Very cool. I don't have any ZF Compasses scooter. The ones that I had were just sent to me for review. None of them I owned. And I still don't own. Maybe someday when the price really comes down on the secondary market. Or when they're readily available from Zero Feud. We'll see. Brian, I think it is. I like it. I play with it a lot. Like I said, I'm not really a top guy, but I've been playing with it as a top and as a ring spin.
but yeah, 40 minutes in. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of here. I gotta go over to Steel Flame and see uh, see about that ring spin I just won. Super pumped that that happened live on stream too. That was cool. All right, guys, you take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry, Brian. There'll be more coming soon. Vacation's done, so you're gonna be sick of me before long. Don't worry. Later. <laughs>